Welcome to this WYSIWYG tutorial that will demonstrate how to connect WYSIWYG Perform to the Grand MA2 console. Connecting your console to WYSIWYG allows show pre-programming in a virtual environment. Grand MA2 also supports WYSIWYG's autofocus feature, which allows two-way control and communication between console and WYSIWYG. This will be explained later in this video. Before starting, please ensure the following are installed on the PC that is to be running WYSIWYG. 1. The Grand MA to WYSIWYG driver. 2. WYSIWYG Perform release 41 or later. Make sure that the WYSIWYG computer is connected to the Grand MA2 console with an Ethernet cable using the MA net port on the console and the computer's Ethernet port. Also ensure that both Grand MA2 and WYSIWYG are running and the show has been patched in both. All fixtures must be labelled with spot numbers equivalent to their fixture IDs in Grand MA2. For more information on how to patch fixtures to WYSIWYG universes and assign spot numbers, please see other WYSIWYG tutorials. Configuring MA2 We're going to start by configuring the console. Before connecting to WYSIWYG, Grand MA2 settings must be configured correctly. After loading your show, in MA2, press the Setup button. Click on the Console tab. Select Global Settings. Confirm that the WYSIWYG setting is set to ON. Click the Network Standalone tab, and then the MA Network Control button. Enter a number between 1 and 31 in the Session ID field. Please note, if you are unable to change these settings, click the End Session button. The Session ID will be used as the WYSIWYG Connection ID. In the Station IP field, select an IP address that is in the same subnet as the computer running WYSIWYG. For example, if your WYSIWYG computer's IP address is 192.168, dot one dot one ninety the IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one nine one should work for your console if no other device on your network is using the same address. Please note if WYSIWYG and GRANDMA2 are to be running on the same machine you must enter the station IP address as one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Click the create session button to start an MA session. Configuring the Grand MA to WYSIWYG driver. The Grand MA to WYSIWYG driver on your WYSIWYG PC must be configured. Open the Grand MA to WYSIWYG driver by going to Start, Applications, MA Lighting, Grand MA WYSIWYG driver. This will open the driver and allow it to be configured to accept the incoming connection from Grand MA. From the top drop down menu under MA Net mode, select MA Net 2. Select the IP address from the station IP address drop-down with the same subnet as the one previously selected for the console. Enter the MA session ID under the Grand MA2 subnet heading and click OK. The Grand MA to WYSIWYG driver is now configured. WYSIWYG settings. Lastly, we're going to configure WYSIWYG to connect to the Grand MA2. With your WYSIWYG show file loaded, switch to live mode by clicking the live button. Under the Managers menu, select Device Manager. Click the New button. Navigate to Consoles, Manufacturer, MA Lighting Technologies and select Grand MA2. Select Insert to add this console to the Device Manager. With the Grand MA2 selected in the Device Manager, click the Properties button. Bind your WYSIWYG universes to console outputs by selecting them from the drop-down menu. Enter Grand MA2 in the address box and click Close. Click the Connect button to connect WYSIWYG to the console. If Autofocus is not automatically bound to the console, Click the Bind Autofocus button at the bottom left to enable autofocus on Grand MA2. Click the Close button in the bottom right hand corner. Turning fixtures on from the console should display their beams in live mode and other functions from the console should also be rendered. Autofocus provides two-way communication, sending fixture data to a console. This allows you to program your console using WYSIWYG designer tools. You can see that making changes in live mode enters this data into the Grand MA programmer. 
Thank you for watching this WYSIWYG video. For more videos, please check out our channel.